Okay, like I said, this three-day story is about a very special gift. Actually, two very special gifts. It's a well-known story called the Gift of the Magi, and we'll learn what this title means, what the name means, as we go through the story. Now we begin here with "It was Christmas Eve." Della sat at home and counted her money. So Christmas Eve, the E V E. It's short for the word evening. It's connected to the word evening, and it literally means the night before a special day.、Mm -hmm. So Christmas Eve is the night before Christmas. 对啊，像我们会说 New Year's Eve 就是过年前一天，那就是除夕啦。所以元旦节前一天呢，那个在英文当中就叫做 Christmas Eve. Now you know the holiday Halloween.、Mm -hmm. yeah? It's actually known also as All Hallows Eve. Because it's the night before, all the monsters have to be back inside. So Halloween, they can be out. 对啊，所以其实像万圣节的前夕 ，All Hallows Eve， 也会看到这个字 E V E， 就是什么什么日子的前一天晚上的意思。Right. So the basic idea is it's the night before Christmas, and Della, one of the people in our story, is sitting at home. She's counting her money. Count is our first word power word. It means that you take a whole bunch of things and you find out what the number is by giving each a number in order, right? Like I have one, two, three, four, five fingers. So I've counted my fingers. One, two, three, four, five. 其实不一定是数手指啦，数任何的东西，只要是在计算的时候 ，to calculate the total number， 就可以用这个字 count。count， 它是我们今天第一个 word power word， 是个动词，也就是计算的意思。Right. For example, you might say count how many people want pizza, so we know how much to order. 嗯，要先数数看喽。Right. Count how many people, so that we know. How many pizzas do we need to get? 当然，在这个例句当中，它是一个祈使句了哈，就是请对方数数看 ，count something. Okay, so Della is counting her money. She had been saving every penny she could for months, but only had one dollar and eighty-seven cents. One dollar and eighty-seven cents. That's not a lot. That's that's almost two hundred in T dollars. Uh huh. Yeah, so it's really not much. She'd been saving for months, so right away we know that Della does not have a lot of money. Notice it says she had been doing this. It's a special form of the verb that shows us that from a time in the past till now, this is what she was doing, and now we're going to learn more about what it means. 所以其实这个句子呢，如果要了解它，就必须先回到一个重点，就是动词的完成式。完成式我们会说它是 have 加上 P P， 那么这是现在完成式。如果你看到的是 had 加 P P 的话呢，它就是一个过去完成式。可是完成式呢，其实有一个重点是在表现。动作持续了一段时间，所以如果我今天以现在的时间点来看，假设我告诉你，哎，我教英文教了十年了，英文是 I have taught English for ten years。可是这个动词可以用进行式来强调，那么句子就可以变成 I have been teaching English for ten years。如果你看到的是完成进行式。就表示有强调动作还正在进行的意思。如果看到的是现在完成进行式，就表示以现在的时间点来看，动作还没有结束哦。我一直教英文教了十年了，言下之意是短暂的未来还不会结束。如果我今天把时态换成是过去 ，had been 加上 v i n g 的话呢，它除了是完成式，它也是进行式。所以如果时间点是发生在过去，比如说昨天我们看到同学 John， when we met John， 他正在慢跑，而且已经跑了一个小时了。那么这个时候就要用过去完成，而且要用进行式哦。He had been jogging for an hour， 所以你看到 for 加一段时间是动作持续一段时间，所以一定会用所谓的完成式。那到底是现在式还是过去式呢？你要看你切入的点是现在还是过去。
。如果要强调它正在进行，就可以用完成进行式。好，接下来我们再请 Ted 出场喽。